Over the past 10 years in breast cancer, we have learned to take a really careful family history because it's something that we didn't do previously. And now, as we do it, we also ask about prostate cancer. Now that we know that there's so much overlap between the pathways of breast and prostate cancer, there are huge implications for families. If you have one of the genes that's been identified to be higher risk for prostate cancer, it's extremely important to remember that these genes don't have a predilection for either of the genders. It can be inherited equally from the mother or the father to the daughter or the son. It's remarkable to me how many patients I now refer for genetic testing simply because I'm asking everyone the same questions. The real challenge will be to figure out how to bring this forward into prevention, how to make sure that we disseminate this information to primary care doctors and make sure that families talk about their relatives and their family histories and learn about it and write it down. I think we can no longer say, we'll worry about this later. We need to worry about it now.